Hello everyone. Welcome back once again to Bio Holic with your Friday educator Olivia. And before starting, make sure you are using properly hand sanitizer and mask to beat the corona pandemic. Today we will learn about the cell organelles. That means we will learn about the members that lives in the house called as the cell. As in our home, our mother cooks, our father buys vegetables, we study and our sister or brother plays various type of games. Similarly, the organelles present in the cells execute different functions. But as in our home, we all are very important member. Similarly, all organelles are equally important. So let's start visiting the world of the cell. In other videos of cell biology of our channel, I think you have learned what is cell. Briefly, I can say that a cell is the basic structural and functional unit of a living organism and according to the cell theory, a cell is the basic building block of life which makes anything alive and is self-sufficient to carry out all the fundamental functions of an organism. And in the structure of a cell, there are organelles. An organelle is a subcellular structure that has one or more specific jobs to perform in the cell, much like an organ does in the body. Okay, and Organelles are small structures, small chamber-like structures within the cytoplasm that carry out functions necessary to maintain homeostasis in the cell and they are involved in many processes. For example, energy production, building proteins, secretions, destroying toxins and responding to external signals, etc. And organelles are considered either membranous or non-membranous and they are distinct in their structures and functions. Okay, so depending upon the presence of the outer membrane, organelles can be classified into three types. The organelles without membrane, the cell wall, centrioles, ribosomes and cytoskeleton are the non-membrane bound cell organelles that have no membrane in their outer part. And they are are also some organelles which have single membrane which are known as single membrane bound organelles for example the vacuole, lysosome, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum are single membrane bound organelles and these organelles are present only in the eukaryotic cell and there are also double membrane bound organelles like nucleus, mitochondria, chloroplast and they are also present in the eukaryotic cell. This membrane has double membrane as their outer cover. Before starting to learn about the cell organelles, we have to learn about two important parts of the cell that is the plasma membrane and the cytosol. What is plasma membrane? Plasma membrane is also termed as the cell membrane or cytoplasmic membrane. It is a selectively permeable membrane of the cell and permits the entry of selective materials in and out of the cell according to the requirement. And it is composed of a lipid bilayer and proteins. The main function of plasma membrane is the providing shape and protecting the inner contents of the cell. According to the Fried mosaic model, the plasma membrane are made up of a lipid bilayer structure in which the protein molecules are embedded in it. For detailed structure of plasma membrane, watch other videos of the cell biology in our channel. Next is the cytoplasm. Yes, it is a thick jelly-like substance of the cell that has no exact shape and it is like a dancing queen. 
the fluid that fills up the cells is referred to as the cytoplasm it is also referred to as cytosol all other organelles are suspended in the cytoplasm the cytoplasm in the eukaryotic cells associated with the cell content except for the nucleus but in prokaryotic cells as they do not possess a defined nuclear membrane the cytoplasm possesses the genetic material of the cell and they are mainly composed of water organic and inorganic compounds the main functions of cytoplasm are the cytoplasm is the site for most of the enzymatic reaction and metabolic activity of the cell the cytoplasm also plays a role in creating order within the cell with specific locations for different organelles for instance the nucleus is usually seen towards the center of the cell with a centrosome nearby clear this is a structure of a typical plant cell here you can see the different parts first of all is the cell wall that limit water uptake and maintain shape and protect the cell then the central vacuole for nutrient storage and cell pressure maintenance then the cytosol for protein rich fluid covering organelles and cytoskeleton the cytoskeleton for maintaining cell shape this is the chloroplast for photosynthesis this is the mitochondria for transforming energy from food then the smooth endoplasmic reticulum for lipid synthesis and storage and de detoxification then the vesicles for transport of proteins and other molecules then the golgi complex for processing and shorting of proteins then the rough endoplasmic reticulum for protein processing then some small structure known as ribosome for protein synthesis then the main portion that is the nucleus which possesses dna and a nucleolus and this nucleolus synthesizes the ribosomal rna but a plant cell differs from an animal cell in the plant cell you will find the cell wall the chloroplast and central vacuole but in animal cell there is absence of chloroplast and cell wall and the vacuoles are very small in shape and not present centrally and in animal cell there are some extra organelles are there known as centrosome and centriole now let's zoom into the organelles without membrane first one is the cell wall that is present in the plant and bacteria cell and absent in the animal cell the function of cell wall is protect and supporting the cell and providing the shape of the cell second is the centrosome and centriole that is present only in the animal cell and it is important for the cell division third one is the cytoskeleton that is present both in plant and animal cell and its function is to act as the backbone of the cell and providing shape of the cell and last organelle that is without membrane is the ribosome that is also present in both plant and animal cells and also in prokaryotes and its main and only function is to make protein now the organelle is with single membrane those are the endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus lysosome and vacuoles the endoplasm reticulum is present both plant and animal cells it helps to move proteins and other materials and it also processes proteins the golgi apparatus is also present in both plant and animal cells it receives materials from endoplasm reticulum and then package and deliver them to other parts of the cell next is the lysosome that also present in both plant and animal cells and it breaks down large particles and old cells by phagocytosis next is the vacuoles that is also present in both plant and animal cells and it is important to storage of food and other materials and lastly the organelles with double membrane 
those are the nucleus mitochondria and chloroplast the nucleus is present in both plant and animal cell and it is called as the brain of the cell as it controls the cellular activities second is the mitochondria that is also present in both plant and animal cells it is called as the powerhouse of the cell and it creates energy third and last one of organelle is with double membrane is the chloroplast that is present only in the plant cell it captures the energy from the sunlight and triggers photosynthesis therefore it is present only in the photosynthetic plants from next class i will elaborately describe the organelle is with their structure and function in details one by one do you have any queries no need to worry you can write those in the comment below or you can directly ask us through the mail id that is provided in the description box so thanks for watching share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel bioholic see you soon bye bye